today I'm going to show you how I use this bias uh, tape maker set and as you can see it's quite a cute little set um, I've got my adjustable sewing foot um, the oweling um, rod that you use to put the um, ribbon and uh, or fabric into your actual feet and then different bias feet so I've got the blue which is 25, the red which is 18, the 12 which, the yellow which is 12 and the green which is uh, 6. So basically this means how big the actual piece of ribbon is going to turn out once you've actually put it through the foot. And we've also got some pins to hold it to the ironing board because you will need an ironing board and an iron as well. And I also use um, this hemming tape just to keep the bias completely held together once it's, um, once we've run the iron over it. And it comes with full instructions and this pack cost me, I think it was about £12 from Amazon. Um, if I can find a sort of uh, link to the pack that I brought, I'll, I'll put it in the descriptions below for you. But it tells you how much fabric you can put through each foot. So we're going to use a red one today because I've already cut a piece here, which is 33, well 30 millimetres or three centimetres. So you can basically do three and a half for your red and then after that you'd have to go up to your blue and your blue can take a maximum of 49 millimeters of standard fabric and about 55 of um, thinner and obviously you can work that on out on your centimeters depending on on what you want planning to use it for I use fabric scissors to cut mine but obviously you can use the rotary cutters depending on what you've got available and what you need to do is like I said we've decided that the red foot which is the 18 millimeter because we've got 30 millimeter of ribbon fabric and this is this really really pretty denim esque fabric from Caraway Cottage and like I said you can pick up any sort of extra strength hemming tape from sort of hobby craft and places like that for quite cheap I get mine for about 99 pence a roll so it's not very expensive at all and as I said I've cut my strip three centimeters wide and I have also worked out the amount of hemming tape that I need for this as well okay so I just pull that and you'll need your owling tool as well and we'll need a couple of these pins I'll just put them in my ironing board for now move that out of the way so this is your owling tool this is your foot and you want your fabric and obviously here the hemming tape free foot with the fabric facing the wrong side up so that's the right side up this bit is the wrong side up okay so pop that in there and then you use your tool like so to keep pushing it until it comes out the other end of the foot like so and then what you can do is once you're happy that it's how you want it I'm going to pin these this is pinned to my ironing board with these pins okay and then what we do is move these out of the way keep this even like i said make sure it's centered as you're pulling your foot along okay and move your foot along and each bit that you move along you want to iron that closed pull your foot along a bit I need to take close. Pull your foot along. Only do little bits at a time. 
so that your, remain, your bias remains even. So we don't like want one bit that suddenly bulges open or anything like that. That's like so I I take it slow. And you don't want a high heat, you want a medium heat. Just going to move my tape up a little bit so you can still see me ironing. I'm just going to re-pin this over here. Sorry, it's out of camera, but I can't keep everything in shot for you on this one. I do try normally, but it's a little bit out of even my, my abilities. So, go back over there. Our hemming tape's sort of miscentered there, so I'll reline that up a little bit. That's better. Okay. And like I said, you just keep going for however long you need your piece of bias for. As you can see there, that's sort of gone a little bit off centre so you can pull your foot a little bit back and iron that so it doesn't pop open this is why like I said we go slow there we go nice and slow bit by bit take your time don't rush anything. Just going to move a couple of pins. Just move a couple of pins there. Move my ribbon a bit further up. Oh. Move back that back down to where we sort of iron to. Again, just gonna pin that out of the start of shot and then we're just gonna finish this last bit off. Said, nice and slow. Never like to rush these kind of things. And make sure you've got it on a seam setting with a bit of water in. And this is also great if you've got a piece of ribbon, so you've got a 38mm ribbon, which is your 1.5 inch, and you want to make it a 1 inch piece of ribbon, this is a great way of doing it. Like I said, you can literally get one of your feet out and you'll know that all the way along the strip that it's completely even. And you don't have to worry about one bit being cut longer or shorter than the rest. And so on. Which is always nice for my like peace of mind and when I'm like being a perfectionist. I will show you on a piece of ribbon as well in a minute. Almost done. Last little bit. And I think I did about 60 centimetres on this. Just going to pull that back down a little bit. As you can see. Okay. Last 
just a little bit. I'm going to cut that off. Like so. We're going to take our pins out from over there. And as you can see, we've got a nice, even piece of bias. And this is what your back looks like. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. But we're not going to see this. What I am going to do is I'm just going to re... Just pull the iron back over that again. Like so. And let me measure it for you so I can show you how wide it's come out. So we started off with 30, uh, three centimetres or 13 millimetres. And we're now down to one and a half centimetres, which is 15 millimetres. So like I said, it's quite a big difference in actual size. And I have done, like I said, 60 centimetres. So I can now cut this in half. And then we can do one of our... You have to give me a second... So hold round. Oh. Do a mini do a mini. Gonna do a mini boutique bow with it. Like I said, you can do whatever you sort of feel like doing. Just let me pin these two. Like so. Over. Over. Okay, look how cute that is. Sorry, miss one of my stitches around there. That's okay. You get the idea. But yeah, basically you can do multiple different styles of bows. You could do a little little chair bow. Like I said, you could do your mini boutique. You can do your tied bows. Bows. Like I said, you have to excuse me because I always lose concentration with them. But yeah, basically you can do whichever kind of styles that you particularly enjoy with it and just play around. And like I said, it also works on ribbon. So, as I said, if you had a 1.5 inch piece of ribbon and you wanted to turn that into a 1 inch piece of ribbon because you wanted the colour but you didn't have the particular style... You can do exactly the same thing. Get your little bit of hemp tape. You don't have to use your hemp tape. You can do it without. It's entirely a personal choice. Like I said, sit that in your foot. And it doesn't matter about being the right way up on these. Use your little tool push your ribbon through. Takes a little bit more on the ribbon. There we 
that go. So we've got that in place like so. Pin that in place. Same as we did with the other bit. Pull it down just a touch and iron it exactly the same. That's your fabric. Careful with your steam. Okay. And again, a little bit. Be careful with your ribbon because it holds the heat more than uh, the fabric. So, do watch your fingers when you do ironing because like I said it does hold it much more than that fabric. There we go. little bits there we go and that is perfectly all now a one inch piece of ribbon. I'm just going to pin that either side and run that over this way. And like I said, remember only medium heat, don't go mad with high temperatures because you will melt your ribbon. Excuse the lighting, I moved my ring light there. But there you go. There is now a really nice even one inch piece of ribbon. There you go. Instead of our original 1.5. So like I said, if you've got something that's not quite right the right size, this is a great way of getting it down nicely so it's completely even look. straight edged all the way along like so so like I said it's a cute little pack to have it's really handy like I said if you like turning bits of fabric into ribbon it's a great little tool to have like I said you get the four feet which are like I said super useful um, the instruction pack gives you full instructions on what sizes to use with each one and like I said, it even gives you basic instructions on how to use the pack, etc. And all the bits that actually come with it. So, there's my other pin. Let's pop that back in there. And like I said, it's also got the sewing machine extension foot. So you can quite literally attach this version to your sewing machine and use it to attach your bias once you've made it. Which is really nice because I do believe that basically the idea of bias is you fold it in half like so over this bit and then you use it to sort of edge round fabric projects so this sort of you is like um you would use it as a trim so you would sort of put this over the edge of something that's not finished and use it to finish off the edges or give it like a little bit of an extra pop or an accent on finished projects so like I said, that's another thing that you can use your bias for, depending exactly how crafty you actually are. So hopefully you find this useful. Thank you for watching. Um, like I said, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And like I said, hopefully you found this all useful. Please excuse me me trying to tie a rainbow. Like I said, even I have to rewatch my own tutorials sometimes because there's just certain ones that I, due to my dyspraxia, just don't get without that extra little bit of uh, visual stimulation. So, like I said, none of us are perfect makers. But like I said, hopefully you enjoyed that and found that useful. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!